I believe Nia Jax. Again, as I've said, whether it be about Gable, uh, whether it be about Orton, whether it be now about Bianca, I wouldn't be surprised or shocked if they wanted them for good reason. They're all extreme, unbelievable, talented wrestlers and, and superstars in their own right. They've all been to the dance before and succeeded. So it wouldn't hurt the EST. But I believe Nia Jax goes over on Bianca tonight, faces uh, uh, a Lyra Valkyrie tomorrow in Saudi Arabia, and my prediction is Nia Jax becomes the queen of the ring in Saudi Arabia. So take that to the bank of Watovia. Nia Jax will be your queen of the ring. This brings us, and again, I don't think they're adding a sixth match that I know of. Something could change tonight at SmackDown and while I'm on the road. The Universal Undisputed WWE Heavyweight Champion, the American Nightmare, who finished his story to start his story, Cody Rhodes, goes up against the biggest heat seeker perhaps in all of pro wrestling and definitely in the WWE. And I like him. The United States Champion Logan Paul. Has anybody adapted to the pro wrestling business as an athlete from another sport more than Logan Paul? You could talk about your Ken Shamrocks. You could talk about your Dan the Beast Severns. You could talk about Ernie Ladd, Wahoo McDaniel. Uh, you could talk about Bad Bunny, Pat McAfee, who made stints. Anyone that's transitioned over and perhaps the best of all time to do it, the Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. Think about it now. Put on your thinking caps. The United States champion Logan Paul has been an unbelievable asset to the world of pro wrestling. So this is not for the U.S. championship. This is for the undisputed heavyweight championship. Now, could there be some sort of chicanery, some sort of screw job? 